Hey guys, here is Amanda, and I have literally filmed this video so many times because I am so unorganized. But whatever, as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be all about my braces and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna like tell you guys the process of like different things and just having braces in general. So yeah, hopefully you can like like follow along because I'm probably gonna be like, oh wait, like this happened before this, but I'm gonna explain it after that. You know what I mean? So yeah. So first, I want to talk about impressions. Impressions are the worst thing to go through throughout the whole braces process. No joke, I freaking hated it. Um, impressions, what it is, is it is a tray and they fill like the tray with this weird putty thing and they place it into your mouth and they do this to get an impression on your teeth. So hence the word impression or like why it's called that. But the top one is what sucks the most. They do the top, they do the bottom. So when they do the top, um, what they do is they push it in your mouth and they push it to the roof of your mouth. And what this does is it, um, it like cures while your teeth are in it. So when they pull it out, it makes like a mold of how your teeth are. So yeah, the only reason the top sucks the most is because it feels like the putty is like going down your throat. Like it feels like you're choking. And I know that's horrible to say and it's horrible it is, but it's not like as bad as I'm like explaining it. But yeah, the bottom one is the easiest one because it's just like your tongue's right there to block it so it doesn't feel weird. But yeah, like I literally almost threw up on like the lady when she was doing that. I was just like, man, like I can't do this. And I was like crying the whole time. So then after that, they have like a mold, a mold of your teeth so they know like what has to happen and just how your teeth have to move. So then they give you spacers. Spacers are little rubber band things that they place in between your teeth to make gaps. They purposely make gaps so they can place your metal crowns, which are like these things that like hold your wire in and stuff. It's like a cap and it just goes around your tooth. It doesn't cover like the top or the bottom of it. But yeah, so um, that, I don't remember it hurting at all when she put it on. So not actually getting the braces on. Um, it's like a really pain, I mean, not painful process. It just, it's kind of sore after because you're not used to having all of that in your mouth. So um, I went in and she placed the crowns and when she placed the crowns she stuck a tool in my mouth and she had me bite down and with the pressure of my bite it made like the cap like stay on. Um, yeah and then after that she cleaned my teeth and then she placed the glue and then she put the bracket on and I had to carry it with that like blue light that you see on like almost every single like getting my braces on vlog. So they did that and I actually got like some of like the tooth like glue or like cleaning stuff on my tongue and it tasted disgusting but yeah so to have a little bit of background on my teeth i had two teeth up here and then one down here which is really really gross but besides the point of that like after i got them on she asked me what color i wanted i told her blue and so she put my wire in on the bottom and then the blue ones but on the top i couldn't get a wire because hence like the two teeth up here or like i had two teeth up here so she had to use like this clear like elastic thread and she threaded it from this tooth, like, up to this one here, and then up to this one, and then back. That she had to, like, pull through. Like, she had to, like, yank that sucker so it would actually be tight enough to do anything. So she nodded that, and then it, like, moved my teeth down after a while. And then, yeah, so that process is, like, really painful. And it's just once you get home, um, I had to have teeth pulled out the same day I got my braces on. So it was kind of worse for me. So I had to, like, take a lot of medicine. But if you're just having your braces put on, then you would probably just have to take like an Advil every once in a while, um, and then you'd be fine. Or like just take it just to go to sleep. Um, all I ate was mashed potatoes and soup, and I had to stay in front of my fan because every time I got out of like the shot of my fan, I would feel dizzy, which sucked so much. But yeah. So next, like getting them tightened and like choosing your colors and stuff. I personally stuck with blue because blue makes your teeth look white. So. Um, I love the royal blue look on my skin. Like, I love it so much. I have, like, all the other shades of blue. Um, some orthodontists allow you to have one color on the top, one color on the bottom, or, like, patterns or something. I didn't really care to ask for it. I was just like, whatever, like, solid cutters, col cutters, yeah. Solid colors are fine with me. Getting them tightened, you usually get them tightened once a month, but if you have, like, the white, um, brackets instead of the metal ones, I think you have to go, like, every three months or something. But yeah, so when you get on Titan, they do different things depending on what your teeth need. Um, and then depending on what they do is whether or not your teeth will hurt in the actual process of getting them tightened. 
there's a few things that I had to get done that hurt my teeth during the actual appointment but a lot of other ones it just did not hurt until like an hour or two later that my mouth was sore um, I would really recommend eating right after you come out of the dentist when you get them tightened or like 20 minutes later because if you wait like two hours your mouth is gonna be really really sore when it's time for you to eat which sucks a lot bands always wear your bands you guys the ones that I have right now are these yellow ones and I wear them in check marks I've had blue ones that I had to wear like this those were really really tight I had pink ones that I had to wear like this they were kind of loose and I've had these so yeah um it would just kind of alternate like I had blue one month blue another month pink one month yellow one month blue one month and then yellow like again you know so yeah I've had my wrists for like a year and a half almost two years so that's like kind of crazy okay so that's really it for like getting them on and stuff so now, the next time you see me, I will not have my braces, and I will tell you guys about getting them off. Okay guys, so now for getting your braces off. So as you can see, I don't have my braces anymore. I probably have a lisp a little bit, like slightly, because I have my retainer in. And I don't want to take it out because it's kind of hard for me to put it back on, personally. Um, the process of taking it off, I was not a fan of. If I had to go through anything again, I would probably go through getting my braces put on, actually. So yeah. So what you do, or what they do is when you go in, they crack off all the brackets. So this is how my orthodontist did it. They just broke off all of them, like all at once, and left the wire intact and like everything else. So they broke all of them off, and then with another type of tool, I'm talking really weird, but with another type of tool, they grabbed the crown and they just clamped it and broke it off. So when they did that, they literally took it out in all one piece, which is pretty, pretty cool and kind of gross. So I did that for the top and the bottom. Then after that, they like shaved them down, polished them, which it doesn't, okay, breaking off the brackets hurt for me. Also taking off the crowns, that hurt way worse than the brackets. But yeah, then when they polished it and stuff, um, it didn't really hurt, it just smelled bad, like it smelled weird. So after that, I just got my teeth clean and they put in my retainer, um, nothing, no, my permanent retainer, nothing like special. Then they tried on this retainer and they had to bend it because it was a little too big. And yeah, and then they like gave me my case, which is just a purple one. Um, yeah, they told me that I have to wear it every single day until like day and night until February of next year. Then I just start wearing it only at night, which is great. So that was basically my whole entire braces experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you in any way, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe down below to see my face and get notified whenever I upload a new video. And yeah, so my Instagram, Twitter, is all my previous video links will be in the down bar. So make sure to go check those out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!